Leaders, uh, now you just know what we're going to do. We're going to be doing 8th wall. Uh, let me show you 8th wall. This is the tool. Actually, let me do incognito, incognito. Because I've already logged in. So I just want you guys to see how you're going to actually arrive at this page. It's called 8thwall.com and it's actually been used to build for web xr meaning web augmented real i uh, meaning web extended reality uh when you combine augmented reality and virtual reality call them extended reality right this is the tool that you guys gonna be learning uh there are a lot of great examples here usually famous with brands uh that's why we get to learn this tool because we also get to get some gigs from brands and then we would use this tool uh, for them to be able to build content that they can share with just a link you know so but before uh, we delve in here I thought it's very important for me to actually explain it to you how does this tool actually feed through what i call i mean this is what i coined guys augmented reality distribution network listen augmented reality distribution network that's what i coined <laughs> you see so augmented reality distribution network it's 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 it's, it's basically uh how i view augmented reality that augmented reality can be delivered in three ways right it can be delivered as a social augmented reality. Let's speak about that. So, social augmented reality is basically augmented reality that it's only distributed within specific social media apps, right? Facebook used to have what you call the sunset it now. They used to have what you call Meta, uh, Meta Spark AR, right? which is the one that allows you to create uh, augmented reality filters and effects that you can put on a face or that you can put, uh, put in your environment and stuff like that you know so now they don't do it anymore everybody doesn't know what's gonna happen next but this platform has been closed so we can scratch it out like that right so now we have two platforms uh out of social augmented reality that's still active and that are still going strong because both of them have checked they're good and the first one is lens studio so lens studio is a platform that you can use uh to build augmented reality to only actual only i no man let me not say only because now they've started to go beyond uh snapchat as a platform but before it used to exist only on snapchat so when you go to snapchat because i know most of people in south africa you guys don't actually use snapchat but you love the camera of snapchat you go there and take a nice picture and put an effect on it and uh, filters on it and do all this kind of stuff and then you download it and you post it in another social media but all those things are created in a studio called Lens studio so you build the stuff and you share them on snapchat you understand so as i've mentioned i'm going to explain it when we go to web ar now snapchat can build can distribute beyond their own app snapchat right now um the second one that we have is effect house so effect house basically is for tiktok it came it's a it's a it's a late and um entry this one it came after the first one was lens studio then the second one was metaspark and effect house came after lens studio i mean after uh, metaspark but now i started to see that it's really developing very fast so you guys could have seen people disforming their full their faces on 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 tiktok uh doing all those big mouth um those those stuff those effects that you see there they were created on this platform called effect house so when you use this platform you would know that you are using it for tiktok so this stuff 
this augmented reality only exists on social media apps, right? Let's move along. Now, we come to Web AR. Web AR, basically, it's, 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 it's augmented reality that only lives or exists on your web browser. So meaning that I can create augmented reality and say to you, halala, here is the link. And then when you get that link, you can be able to open it on your mobile Android browser or your Safari uh, for those who are using uh, iPhone or, or Google Chrome for those who choose to use Google Chrome or Opera or whatever, uh, Firefox, you know. So that link can be able to open on those devices. So please note that this link you can open on your browser if it doesn't have the camera. It needs to be on the device that has the camera at the in front and at the back for it to be able to work depending on the feature that you have introduced. So there are all these platforms like Zappa that you can be able to use. So one thing that I need to warn mostly with Web AR. Ah, uh, you see these people, ah, uh, they love man. This one, they will charge you left and right. When they see you, they like, ah, uh, give us money. When you try something, they like, ah, uh, uh, wait, my friend, give us more money. You go this way, they're like, oh, you can't pass without give us money, you know? So you can check all of these tools and you could always choose based on what you want to achieve and and all this kind of stuff you know so the first one it's zappa zappa it's 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 it's, it's been here for years and you can check it out how it works and the second one it's needle tools uh, i've used zappa i've used needle tools uh zappa can it has what you call zap works and this zap works allows you to have an sdk that you can use it on your own framework i've used it inside unity but immediately then i can publish it on the web i've also used needle tools uh we are trying to move our content uh on the website uh into cisana.com we are using needle tools for that um it's a great tool it has augmented reality embedded on it already uh that you can be able like it's actually easy you can just switch one button then the next thing you're in augmented reality then we got camera kit so camera kit links back to lens studio this is what allows that the content that is built on lens studio to travel beyond snapchat you understand um so now we've because of that uh stuff that we're building on the studio can be available for the browser because of the camera kit uh i'll come to it for then we have bleeper it's also competing with this you can check it out bleeper i've never used it it confused me from the get-go then swift xr i hope i'm not breaking the name but this is uh truly african it was developed by developers uh, i think in nigeria they uh developed their own editor called swift ar uh, i haven't checked it out maybe one time i should actually make it um uh my my duty to check it out because now we support african among the african so that's why i need to check it out and then the last one you already know plain canvas so plain canvas can do 3d and at the same time can do augmented uh, reality on to the last one so we have already covered social ar and we have covered uh, web ar then let's come to the last one called native ar so native ar usually means that you have to build an actual app uh, that will have to run on either ios or android that will have to be published on app store or uh the play store so this is where you will have to publish your app so it means like this both of this one uh both of this distribution they don't need um the they don't need the user to actually download anything they can use it already because they already have the social uh, media apps and they already have the browser apps they can just use it right away but this one would request for your user to actually download 
uh, the app on your phone, uh, your app on their phone so that they can be able to use it. So for this one, in order for you to use it, you're going to need either Unity or Unreal. And in terms of an Unity, I don't know much about Unreal. I'm not really an, an Unreal person because every time when I try to put Unreal in my computer, it breathes so hard that I feel for my computer, you know. So I've never get to use Unreal because of that reason, you know. Uh, but in terms of Unity, you do need an SDK uh, software development kit uh, such as Vuforia, uh, which is the basic one that you can be able to use it in multiple phones. And then there is what you call AR Foundation, uh, which is the most advanced one that you can uh, be able to use in the most advanced smartphones. So this is pretty much uh, our distribution. This is pretty much the distribution on how AR can be uh, distributed to the user. And some of this, uh, this distribution patterns are already covered in our, our channel. You can just go and check some of the videos that are there. But for this particular playlist, I'm going to be focusing on 8th wall, where I'm going to be introducing new leaders on how to build content for 8th wall. So with that being said, now you understand Augmented Distribution Network. Let's get going. Let's go back to 8th wall and see what can be done. Halala.